What is up guys, Jarv here, back today with another Suicide Squad video. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at all the loot and gear from the recent playtest event. Now, as you may be aware, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is a dynamic new third-person action shooter being developed by Rocksteady. This is very much a looter shooter, and as we all know, loot is the most important thing when it comes to these games. Now, weapons and any other items can come in seven rarities. These include the common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, infamy, and notorious items. Now, with each character being able to equip one of three weapon types across four different manufacturers, you will discover the same weapon types on different weapon archetypes. Now, in terms of manufacturers, these include Armatech, GCPD, Star Labs, and LexCorp. Now it is possible to scroll through all your weapons as a single list or by using your bumpers you can focus in on a particular weapon type. Now when it comes to weapons across multiple archetypes you will find the same names also with the same intrinsic augment. For example you'll find Turkey Shoot available as different weapons all developed by LexCorp and each one of these weapons allows the firearm to deal 250% increased critical hit damage but will have a 0% critical hit chance against enemies that are in slow motion. Now this actually pairs really well with the Great Suspender, which you can equip as a melee weapon. This will throw all combatants into the air on a melee hit, and whilst they are in slow motion, and you won't benefit from any crit hit chance, each target you do hit will be on the receiving end of 250% more damage. Another weapon that I really enjoyed during the playtest is called Stacked Deck. This is from GCPD Lockup. Now on Deadshot, this is available as an assault rifle, but I was a big fan of this as a shotgun on King Shark. Now this firearm's damage is reduced by 50%, but for each successive hit on an enemy with this firearm, this will cause it to deal 5% more damage from all sources for 10 seconds, up to a maximum of 250%. Now whilst these main legendary augments do remain the same, each legendary weapon also comes with additional augments with various rarities. Now you can choose to overhaul these if you wish which will randomly roll each augment or if you've unlocked all members of the support squad toy man will allow you to individually modify each augment so if you are looking to focus in on things like crit hit chance shield harvesting or even your traversal and additional grenade resource then these are all things you could lean into by mid maxing all your weapons now, as well as overhauling your gear, you can also apply afflictions to them. You'll unlock these from Poison Ivy. A thing to bear in mind, though, is you can apply this out in Metropolis or at the Hall of Justice. If you do this out on the battlefield, though, there is a 75% fill tax. So it will cost you considerably more to overhaul and re-roll your weapons or apply a new affliction. Now, due to that increased cost, you will find yourself traveling back to the Hall of Justice and you can even fast travel to it. This will unlock once you've fully assembled the support squad where penguin will allow you to craft weapons ivy can apply your afflictions and toy man can modify all your gears augments as well as that you can also collect care packages from argus quartermaster aaron cash change characters at colonel flag or even try out your new weapons and augments over in the gun range now care packages are another way of earning additional rewards you get these by intercepting brainiac's carrier drones in metropolis and by taking them out and saving civilians the more civilians you save the better quality of gear from your care package and you'll need to check in with cash each and every day to pick up all your care packages now during our play test we were granted with three infamy sets these were from gizmo penguin and lex corp now these were two piece sets and if you highlight each set you can see which items you need to equip in order to complete the set the penguin set you need to have a grenade and traversal mod equipped the same can be said for gizmo and for lex corp you needed a shield and traversal mod these need to be from the same set and by equipping both pieces of gear this will unlock both bonus traits so for lex corp this provides plus 50 percent damage to brute enemies and the level two piece bonus allows critical hits to generate one percent suicide strike resource and traversal attacks do 50 percent less damage but have a 100 percent chance to electrify all enemies that are hit now as for penguins infamy set this has also got a two-piece bonus the first is where shooting frozen enemies regens two percent shield per shot with the second bonus traversal attacks deal no damage but have a hundred percent chance of freezing all enemies it also provides plus eight percent passive affliction resource regen per second and as for gizmo's infamy set the first bonus provides a plus 50 percent damage dealt to burning enemies and with the second piece bonus grenades do 50 percent less damage but have a hundred percent 
50% chance to burn all enemies that you hit. And when your shield is broken, this releases a burst of Diablo Blaze that burns all enemies within 15 meters, and this can only happen once every 30 seconds. As you can see, all these armor sets are entirely unique and will completely change your playstyle. Now, naturally, all these bonuses stack on top of any talents that you've already equipped on your talent trees, as well as any other augments that you have on any other item. It's an absolutely awesome way of elevating your build and really leaning into different playstyles. Now, as well as the infamy sets, we were able to earn a notorious item in the form of the Black Masks Bullet Storm. Now, I was on Deadshot at the time, which meant this dropped as a sniper rifle. As we've seen from some of the Suicide Squad Insider videos, this can also drop as a minigun. Now, the Black Masks Bullet Storm allows each enemy that is hit with a firearm to receive Black Masks Mark. Now, by applying this to three different enemies within nine seconds, this causes all marked targets to trigger a fiery explosion that burns all nearby enemies. Once again, this is on top of any other augments that can be of various rarities that you can re-roll if you wish. And we were fortunate enough to get our hands on this as part of a mission completion. Now you can get a really good view of where all your bonuses are by looking at the overview screen. This will show you exactly where you're getting your additional bonuses across each and every item. So if you do want to focus in on a particular playstyle, whether that be crit hit chance, crit hit damage, traversal, shield harvesting, counter shot or critical reload, then this is the perfect place to be to get a great overview of your build. Now once you're happy with your setup, as we covered in our recent preview video, you can in fact save your loadouts. There is a massive list of loadout options. You can include the entire squad, include or exclude any transmog items and even the talent tree itself. Now these loadouts aren't just a benefit to you, but can be a benefit to your friends too. As part of the social squad, this actually allows you to bring other players, characters and builds into your game as an AI character. And if your friends decide to use one of your loadouts, then you'll get some sweet additional rewards. This is a really cool and unique social feature and one to definitely lean into once the game launches on the 2nd of February. Now what you'll notice is that no item has a gear score, making all your gear valuable. And as you work your way through the different rarities of items, this will improve its accuracy, stability and also DPS stats. As you can see, there's lots of layers and depth with a lot of the systems in Suicide Squad. And which ones are you most excited for? Then be sure to sound off down in the comments below. So there we have it guys, a good look at the gear, infamy gear sets, notorious items and some of the sweet loot in Suicide Squad. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Suicide Squad and Destiny content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with both of those games, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump into the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.